guys, welcome back to another episode of Project Explorer. And today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Um, it's another one of those like maintenance videos, I guess you could call it. Episode one was one example of that. So today I'm with the truck as always. Um, and if you remember in the last episode, I mentioned how dirty my wheels were. Um, in fact, when I washed it last time, I didn't even clean the wheels. So today I'm gonna be demonstrating to you guys how to clean. What the well, what are the best ways to take care of your wheels in your car? So the first method would be like a degreaser or something. Um, you can get them at like autos or anything like that. My mom actually has it with her right now, so I can't demonstrate that. Um, but simply what you would do is you would sit like, I don't know if you're supposed to soak the wheels first. I can't remember exactly, but you'd spray the wheels down with it. And then you'd, uh, you'd give it a minute, you'd rinse it off and everything would be okay and dandy. But sometimes the brake dust, especially, depending on if your car's front wheel drive or not, it can get really bad, especially my mom's minivan where the rims were black. I mean, like they looked like they were powder coated black and it made it really difficult to do that with so um what i did is i hand wiped it down the rags actually over there i forgot there was one hiding in the leaves here and uh it turned the almost the entire bottom of that rag black from the brake dust so what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to use my other method which draws a bucket some water and some soap in the rag of course so i'm going to fill up the bucket get my rag out fill it up with soap whatever now I'll get started on the um, passenger side wheel because that's the one that needs the worst. I'll see you guys in a so second. So I put a little bit of water in there, not too much. Um, you don't really need a lot when you're doing wheels. But I'm an idiot and forgot to put the soap in first. So what I'm using is some Purple Power Prime Chime car wash concentrate. All that garbage that my dad got from work. And I'm going to dump it in there. Make sure everything's set. The rag out that's hiding in the leaves. Alright, so now we're um, doing this thing here with the rims. Uh, Michael's pulling up my steam so it's kind of distracting but um, at this point I'm just gonna clean the wheels up and I'm doing everything. I'm doing this wheel really slowly and everything else in the time lapse. So the, the difficulty of my wheels is that they're stained um, with, with the brake dust on the inside on the great parts of the wheel. Um, and uh, so the front wheels are definitely gonna be worse on, um, on the uh, truck. I, my, I'm reading Michael's messages right now. I apologize for how weird this sounds, but okay, so I don't actually focus <laughs> Okay, so the key with washing wheels, especially if you have black wheels black wheels It's really easy to tell when you got brake dust on them. If your car is front-wheel drive You're probably gonna have really bad brake dust on our front wheels um, If your truck's rear-wheel drive or cars rear-wheel drive, you probably won't notice it as much um, In fact, my rear wheels actually were surprisingly better than my front uh, My front wheels were still pretty grimy, but that's because most of the braking force is from the front wheels as you all know so when you're cleaning wheels, you want to make sure you hit every single spot. Now the sad part about my wheels, like I said, is they are stained with brake dust from the previous owner. Um, I've had, me and my dad have done really well jobs cleaning this thing up. My dad taught me how to clean wheels properly and stuff. And like I said, there's other ways to do this. You can use a degreaser or anything like that. Um, special wheel cleaner, stuff like that. Um, I just use the, the water rag and soap because that's what I'm used to. Um, with my wheels, it's relatively easy um, since they are just, you know, your basic uh, five spoke wheels, the center cap. Uh, I have not taken the center cap off ever, so I don't know what it's like underneath. Um, I bet it's horrible. Um, but yeah, so then you just rinse it off when you're done. It washes off anything, all the soap and mist, so it doesn't get soap stains. Um, but yeah, so now we'll move on just the other wheels, and I'll let you guys listen to music. Paint the sky, all because of you.
Okay, so at this point, I was deciding to check out my mirror adjustment, make sure it was okay, and then clean my mirrors, because uh, I adjusted them early on in the week, and as you can tell, I don't really have power mirrors at all, um, so I have to use my hands to adjust everything, because I don't even have, like, the little knob or anything to adjust my mirrors, which is quite frustrating, but uh, I did what I could. Um, I checked those out, and I went and got the hose, because uh, I had fingerprints on my mirror from adjusting them previously, and I was like, you know what, I'm finally going to clean this up, so I decided to just take some water, nicely rinse it, get the soapy rag out. Well, it wasn't my greatest idea to use a rag that I used to get brake dust off of wheels, and I just wiped them up and uh, rinsed them off, and it made the, everything look so much better. Um, I haven't checked it lately, but I bet it looks great. But yeah, so let's go back to the video. The last thing I'm gonna do for this video, guys, is I'm gonna crank the truck, let it run for a few minutes, and uh, check the oil and stuff. I'm basically taking care of this thing right now because uh, I'm babying it because I'm getting it ready for the full master installation and stuff and I've been doing a lot of just cleaning and stuff on it which I thought would make a pretty good video so hope you guys have enjoyed it thus far um, and I know this started off as a this is how you take care of your rims video but I decided just to make it an overall taking care of your vehicle video because I just thought why not show everyone how I take care of my vehicle so I'm gonna crank the truck let it run for a few minutes clean out all the trash that's inside here and we'll be done all right so it's fired up I kind of love the sound for now at least, of a stock 4 liter V6. That didn't sound right, but idling fine. I'm actually quite curious what that little squeak was at the beginning there, but it doesn't seem to be causing any trouble. It's been a couple days since it's ran. Uh, the last time I ran was Friday when I was speeding, not really speeding, speeding, but um, hurrying home because uh, that's when my grandma passed away, was on my way home that day, so. Um, thank goodness that uh, it's starting to set in finally, so I'm not so upset about it. There was a mosquito that just tried to fly in here. Get out of here, kid. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna basically start cleaning up in here. Uh, I'll get back to you guys to end off the video later. All right, so this will be concluding the video for today, but I've been wanting to show you guys for months what it looks like whenever my valve cover gaskets are actually burning the oil, how bad they really are. So as you can see, the vehicle is still relatively cold. Um, like I said, it's been a couple days since it ran, but as you can see, if you look very closely, you can see just the slightest hint of smoke. That's not coolant burning up. That is actually the oil that is leaked out from the valve cover gaskets just evaporating. Um, all the dry the oil and stuff has been there for the last couple of days and we're not running. Um, usually it produces quite a bad smell, um, but that's what it looks like when you have a blown head gasket, or not head gasket, valve cover gasket. So um, don't worry about this though, guys. I'm getting it fixed very soon. I'm ordering the parts and stuff within a few weeks when I get my money from my parents, which I'll also be going into what I'll be getting the Flowmaster and all that crap. Um, and that'll be getting fixed and it won't smoke so bad. So don't worry guys. It's all fine. It's been doing this for a year um, But thank you guys so much for watching this quick video and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care guys